what's good yo welcome back to exotic tea blog i'm back with another video but before we get into this one make sure you like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell for more videos so let's dive into today's tea so um the Nicki minaj and taylor swift's collaboration rumor is getting stronger because um some fans cracked the puzzle in the also sagittarius and we all know what that means like i said in my previous videos um taylor has a song sagittarius moon featuring Nicki minaj allegedly and also Nicki minaj is um hosting the queen video from like in hours now and i think that's the same time we um taylor swift coming out to announce the track list and some fans basically believe that Nicki minaj is going to um get taylor swift on the queen radio because she said y'all should keep a look for um the queen radio i want y'all to let me know in the comment section if you believe taylor swift is gonna be on Nicki minaj's queen radio i think that's gonna be a very good strategic move for the song but let me know if you feel about that moving on from that most arari said five female rapper in the u.s um i think Nicki Minaj is at number one, Party Scene is at number two, Doji Cat number three, and also Megan Thee Stallion. So, congratulations to the Queen of Rap. Nicki Minaj still comes out yet to win every other day. So, she's selling higher than Party Scene, his alter ego Cardi B, and also Megan and Doja. They getting payola, but they can't even surpass the Queen of Rap because Nicki Minaj has organic fans coming out to buy and also stream. Y'all should let me know if you about that in the comment section below. Not only this key by sexy red has now tied with pound town in the billboard charts making um its sexy red highest charts in singles so congratulations to sexy red and also Nicki minaj really helped sexy red from the peak of her career like how did even Nicki minaj didn't do the pound town remix with sexy red i don't think sexy red would have been sexy red so congratulations to sexy red and also all thanks to Nicki Minaj, the queen, and also the generous queen. Nicki can't do like Cardi B, that she's gonna do a collaborate with you, and when she's done with the collaboration, her career is going back to um being basically trash, just like she did with Fendi and also Glue. But I want you to let me know if you feel about this topic in the comment section below. Moving over to Cardi B, aka Bocciana. So, um, early predictions for um, next upper week or next week. Bongos by Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion are uh, to fall to number 45 in this if the song doesn't get more streams and also sales but it's getting a whole lot of radio i don't know why it's falling down probably because of olivia Rodrigo. so i want you to let me know in the comment section how you feel about this song actually falling um to me i think the song deserves to fall down to number 62 or 63 because i think that's like the perfect spot for that song i don't think the song is supposed to be like a top 20 song i never thought it was gonna go top 20 but um with a whole lot of radio and also payola she's got the song got up to number 13 or 14 and it's kind of good for cardi b but allegedly cardi said she doesn't care about the charts so i want you to let me know in the comment section if you think this delusional bitch is out here lying about not caring about the charts because i remember cardi b saying in her records living in top 10 but um since her records in getting close to the top 10 so now she don't care about the charts but that's to that but y'all should let me know if you feel about that in the comment section and allegedly cardi b and megan the stallion would be performing at the bet and <clears throat> i know the bt they're always gonna give cardi b flowers but the flowers are kind of giving garbage for me because um why is cardi b performing i know she's got like nine to ten nomination allegedly and probably she just wants to use this for um perfect opportunity to perform um, to promote the song but if you couldn't promote bongos at the vmes which had more ratings is it the bt you want to promote the song y'all should let me know in the comment section Moving over to Doja aka Demona, so Doja Ka has now come out to make history and also become the first female rapper to surpass 69 million monthly listeners on Spotify, so congratulations to Doja Ka. I think this kind of cute for her and also her little demon stunts. Anyway, she's getting a whole lot of payola for on her song Paint the Town Red and the song is massively gaining up to 7 to 8 million streams daily. So Doja Cat has to break the record obviously and not only that, um, Doja Cat's um, demons. Yeah, also let me know if about that song getting removed from the Billboard Hot 100 chart because the song actually disappeared and also it departs. So do y'all think Doji Cat Demons deserve its departure? Let me know in the comment section if you think the song deserves to leave the Billboard because I kind of felt like that song was trash. But that's my opinion. Y'all should let me know if about that in the comment section. 
Now, y'all should like, comment, and subscribe. And also subscribe to my second channel at Exotic Tea Lounge because I'm gonna be posting more videos over there. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And also hit the notification bell so every time I drop a single video, you'll be tuned into the video. And as usual, thanks for watching.